Hey guys, this is Anthony Montalbano and I created the WordPress bar plugin for WordPress. So I just want to give you a quick rundown on what you can do with it. So let me just give this quick scenario here. You're writing a blog post and you're going to feature a couple other websites. More than likely it's going to happen. You're going to feature different links pointing to things that you found on, on other external sites. Now, your visitors, when they read your blog post, they're going to look at it and they're going to click on the link and it's going to take them away from your site. Well, this is where the WordPress bar comes in. What this will do is after you've written all your blog posts, the WordPress bar will rewrite all the links inside of your posts to display the WordPress bar above the site that they're about to view. So for instance, here is a blog that you see right in front of me. And then there's different links here, such as I have like Aweber, MailChimp, FeedBurner. I'm just different links that I'm writing in my blog post. Well, if you notice, when I hover over them, it shows you down here in the status bar that the link has been re redirected. You can see that it's actually creating a new link for it. So by clicking on one of these, like your user would, you would be brought to the site as you would expect. But if you notice up here, there is this bar that's across the top. This is the WordPress bar. When your viewers or your readers click on a link from your blog, they're not completely pulling away from your site and they can still interact and do things on your blog by still visiting the site. Same feature as Dig's bar or dig.com's dig bar. So that's what the WordPress bar does in a nutshell. Now there's also this feature with the WordPress bar that's called As Featured In. You can see this big green button over here that says As Featured In. Now when I click on this, it's going to slide down and show me all the different posts on my blog that feature this link. So now if you're writing about a link maybe more often than not, three, four times, your readers can see what other posts you've written so that you can actually increase your blog views and you can increase your readers and see like, where they can see what else you're writing about about this site obviously they clicked on the link they like it well let them see what else you've written about it too so that's what this as featured in does the easy link creation allows you to quickly and easily create a link that would display any external link with the wordpress bar on your site so what you're going to do here is for instance, I'm on one of my blogs, internetriot.com. You can see here's a URL. All I'm going to do here is at the very end of it, just put a question mark and any link you want. So I could do, for instance, google.com, which is something really simple. And I'll just return. And what you can see now is it's recreated this link for me. And I also have the WordPress bar on google.com. So now you could just take this link and share it. So that is easy link creation. So here we are in the WordPress bar settings. You can see there's a bunch of different settings you can do, but what I really want to focus on is custom identifiers. I think this feature is really, really huge. So I'm going to scroll down here. You can see, pick your options as you choose, but we can scroll down here to the bottom and there's an alert external link stats. This actually will show you all the stats of the links that are featured on your blog. And then here's the short link ID. You can always click on it and it'll take you to that link. But now you'll see this little pen here. And what you can do is actually edit these short link IDs. So now you can make your links even more rememberable. For instance, if this bing.com, which I'm featuring on my blog, I can click on this and I can edit my short link ID and just call it maybe bing. And then I'll save it. And what you'll now notice here is now it's just simply Bing. So if I click on this, here's Bing.com with the WordPress bar for Internet Riot. Now look at my URL. It's simply internetriot.com forward slash question mark Bing. That's pretty easy to remember. So now with custom identifiers, you can literally feature any site through your blog using the WordPress bar. That's what a custom identifier does for you. To get the WordPress bar for your WordPress blog, go to your blog's admin. On the left-hand side, 
you can click on plugins, add new, simply search for WordPress bar. Here it is right at the top. Click on install. And there you go. This is the WordPress bar plugin for WordPress.